Hello and welcome to Type 2 Detectives Makeover Takeover. We're just going to give you a little bit of an update of where we are since episode one. Chris, where are we with the barn door? So, the ending's now all built up. Yep. Um, all the parts turned up from Harry Car Centre. Good, good. Did Mark turn up to fit him in the end? He never turned up. So, mm -hmm. as I was again, stayed late. Good. Built it up. Lovely job. So, what we left to do? Uh, just about to put on a stand yep. and burn the cam in. Yep. Okay, where does he fit into it? Uh, in the morning, if I can get up in time, I yeah. will uh, change your all and uh, do the bad appearances. Bit of a tune up. A bit of a tune up before it goes back in. Yeah. So we can access the carbs easier. easier. Mm -hmm. And then after lunch, Chris can fit the engine. Nice. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so it's Wednesday today. The guys are on the last few bits and bobs needed to get this barn door made over. Uh, we'll run through and show you what everyone's doing in a second, but we're getting there. Hi Ben. Hello. What are you up to? Fitting the clutch. Okay, anything else needed? Uh, rear tinware yeah. and uh, run some fuel line. Excellent stuff, good man. Morning Mark. Good morning. Working on the barn door? I certainly am. Yeah. What are you doing? Trying to get a clutch cable that is correct size for it. Out of that stock. Chris, what are you up to? So, the cool is now mounted. Yep. Um, just about to start running the lines yep. through here. Yep. And going to mount the um, oil filter and housing here. Yep. And in this little space, yep. hopefully, the engine. Cool. Thank you. So, Okay, no problem. Yep, certainly will. Okay, Paul, really appreciate it. I'll speak to you Thursday. Thank you, bye. We've done it. Okay, so that was Paul Cowland, real good friend of ours, who not only is he a international TV celebrity, but he also does the, uh, the PA and marketing, or PR and marketing, not PA, something totally different. PR and marketing for Castrol Classic. Um, so what Paul's managed to get signed off is an agreement between us and Castrol Classic to allow us to use their logo on the side of the barn door in a period style applied by Neil and Mandy Melliard who are probably the best classic sign writers that we know and they're going to come along on probably Wednesday and Thursday this week apply all the logo, we'll get it all on, age it all back so it looks like it's been on there since 1954 so. Really happy with that, amazing. Get the phone to Mandy. Ah, oh, good morning. It's a rainy Thursday. Progress on the barn door is fantastic. Mandy, our sign writer, has been here literally overnight, putting the base colours on the van. Motor's about to go in tomorrow, uh, pretty much everything mechanically is done. If you come on through, we will see how mad he's getting on. Good morning, Mandy. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Wow, that's looking good. You pleased with it? I will be. I'm <laughs> sure Castro will be as well. Up. So what, what's the process? Are you trace, so you trace I'm gonna, this on? I'm going to line this up and then I'm just going to transfer it on. It's, 
it's got charcoal on the back there and I'm just going to draw through and then sign write it so you'll probably see that a bit later dying art right I'm just going to go and murder my dog <laughs> cool super job let's report back in a little while later on today we've got uh, the, the head huncho of um, Castrol Classic coming to, to visit and to um, so we'll reveal the the work in progress to him. Uh, in the meantime, good luck Mandy. Yeah, so I'm sign writing this logo on this lovely old barn door um, and I'm using um, one shot enamel which is an oil based uh, sign writing paint it's quite a lot like uh, gloss except it's it's got a high density pigment so that it covers and also um, it's got oils in it which help it flow out easily and, and dry so it dries fairly quickly so that you can second coat it um, usually within 12 hours or so. Quite a lot of traditional sign writers use a, a palette and they mix the, the paint on the palette and they'll have two clip-on pots, one with the paint in and one with thinners. Um, and they dip and then thin as necessary. But um, Neil and I, uh, Neil the striper, um, we did our apprenticeships with a few Australian guys and they, because I think they worked in hotter, drier climates, they mix their paint in a pot and thin it. Um, it makes it faster. Um, we just got into that habit um, so that's how we always work. It does mean that halfway through a job you you might stop and um, just thin your paint a little bit more. Uh, but on a day like today when it's cold, it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. So a real quick one, I just thought I'd show you a future project we've got lined up. So beach buggy obviously, we've got it kind of mocked up at the height we're going to run it. Going to run this run one quite low to the ground. Um, the key elements of this are going to be, well the key element is sort of minimalisation really. It's going to be really, really basic, really low, really tight colour palette, just the metal flake brown, black highlights, polished wheels keep the dash really basic, really short stubby screen in black, really short stubby roll bar in black, really plain simple minimalist engine, just like yeah, buggy on acid basically. So um, yeah, really looking forward to getting into this. Um, watch this space. Excellent, thank you. Again, thanks for listening. Cheers. Cheers to the missus. Right, well, let's strike while the iron's hot, shall we? Oh, wow. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a little bit more on the other side, actually. Yeah. Ke
go. Wow. Hiya. Hiya. This is Mandy. It's Hello. Trevor from Castro. I won't treat your hand because I'm covered in paint. So she's just doing the um, doing the under shadow on the. Yes, that's oh, really that's good. good. That's, that's good. really yeah, that's really good. Actually, better than I expected. Because I didn't think that the mock up of it. Did, you, did we not tell you, man? He was a genius. Oh, well, I well, assume she would. Be. <laughs> These people are very talented, we've seen several yeah. times well, over the years. I think so. The computer stuff only, only goes to give you an idea because in real life it's got more soul, hasn't it? Yes. I can sit here and watch Manny do this all day. I know, it's impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it's so good. I bought you a few little mugs for your team. So what, we, what we do, we do, um, we do our um, we do like maintenance training days here. Yes. So people come along and we teach them how to service and maintain their box mm -hmm. What we'd love to do is to sort of team up with you and give them something they can purchase to take away. Yeah. So maybe like some oil, we can supply yep. all the gaskets and everything else that goes with it. The bag. Yep. Maybe a tube of grease, so then grease their front axles. Yep. Um, yeah. Tinner brake fluid. Yeah. Just all the stuff, and then we can, you yeah. know, everyone's sort of they're coming through the days, and they're eager to go away and, yeah. you know, do their first oil change, do their first, you know, valve adjustment. Mm. And we can give them, you know, a little bit of a pack. Yes. Yes. Cool. Good some stuff. Excellent. Thank you very much. Wow. Good to see you. Good. So it's Friday afternoon, um, the guys are next door rushing around trying to get the barn door finished, loads of customers projects going out today as well so really busy times in there. In here we're doing a photo shoot for our new coffee brand which is just about to go on the website. By the time you're watching this it'll all be live, you better go online, you better buy the coffee. We do the supercharge, the kickstart coffee to get you up and going in the morning. Really nice artwork by um, his Lordship Steve Parsons. He's also done the Naturally Aspirated, which is a more mellow, mellow blend. This is the sort of keep you going throughout the day and into the afternoon. So a um, couple of ways of buying the coffee. You can either just buy a small pack, 9.95. You can buy a bigger pack, a kilo, which is about 29 pounds, or you can subscribe for 24.50 a month. And on the first Friday of every month, a kilo of this stuff is gonna turn up on your doorstep. Um, and it will continue to come throughout the year. Amazing taste, amazing smell. If only it was smell vision people would be queuing up to buy the stuff. But take, take my word for it, it's absolutely amazing. So we've just over a week to go. Um, it's now time to concentrate on the home comforts. Um, Matt's got the door frame off. We're trying to get the door to fit the hole a little bit better. Um, Mark, our good friend at uh, Trim Classics, has come up with this amazing Lily Savage inspired scary spice whatever you want to call it interior um, which I absolutely love really in, in keeping with the 50s theme um, we're going to try and fit a diesel heater uh, into the van before we go got some pop-out window seals to fit we've noticed we've got the big spoon catches so I really love the look of the windows that open up that much further than a smaller, um, more traditional pop-out window catch. Uh, but yeah, they're, like I say, home comforts, not many. It is a barn door, it's gonna be drafty as hell. There's no headliner, very raw, very back to basics, but I think it's coming along, along really nicely. I'm really pleased with it. I would say I can't wait to go to Belgium in it, but yeah, be all right. Love it, love it, absolutely love it. Right. What we have here is an engine we purchased from the VW Engine Company. What size is it, Chris? Uh, so it's 1776. 1776, so it's got counterweighted crankshaft, uh, standard flywheel, it's going in the bus. Um, Heritage Parts Centre sent us the majority of the parts, didn't they? They did, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, vintage speed, tuck away exhaust. Um, all the tinware. Um, Carbs are uh, uh, 40 IDFs. Um, CSP linkage, which is what we use on most of our, um, our, our motors, push and pull linkage, really accurate. Distributor is... A digital 321. 
So the benefit of that is we can dial in the advanced curve on our phones. You can also get an app on your phone so you can do all the oil temperature and uh, see the revs, see the revs, yeah. everything. So it's, it's all done by Bluetooth, which is pretty amazing. And all in one, really. Yeah, black uh, SSP alternator. Um, we've blanked off, got an electric fuel pump, got blank there, we've, which we've run in some extra breathers um, off the motor. It's not a, not a fire breather, so we shouldn't need too much extra breathing. Uh, we've gone obviously with the black theme to keep it looking nice and minimalist. But yeah, pretty much ready to go in, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, almost there. Just got to finish off the breathers and then, um, yeah, hopefully go in. And then road testing. Where are we? We're a week before heading off to Belgium, so try and get four or five hundred miles on it this week couple of oil changes, do the valve adjustments, and then off we go. So the sign writing's on uh, in its basic format. Um, we've just been talking, we really love the way Mandy's sort of encapsulated a really subtle um, sort of shadow. So, so subtle, you, can, you have to kind of look twice to see it. Um, really like the sort of the blues and the reds. It's sort of quite similar to our old T2D STP style logo, you know, colour wise, which is really cool. Uh, like I say, we're going to get some, I'm going to sort of rub this back and age it. We want it to make, we don't want it to, we don't want it to look like a vinyl sticker and we don't want it to look like it's been on there for five minutes. So next week when the paint's hardened, where you do some real, very, very subtle um, wet sanding, just to sort of thin it out and have a bit of bleach through from the colour underneath. But yeah, I'm really happy. It's balanced out really nicely. She's done a fantastic job. I think she's going to come back Monday and just do a few additions. And I want something across the front of the vehicle. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with that. Thanks, man. See how it goes. Feels pretty good. First test, does, does it like speed bumps? beauty of a Ray steering box. Warm works. Makes it good.
grey, kind of. Nobody ever said this would be easy, but trust when I say that you got it. I know it you've been looking for a breakthrough, trying our best to make do. Every day is something new, but change don't come. Oh yes, it's true. Brighter days are straight ahead. Follow me, won't be misled. Just look up, don't hang your head, and we'll get to the hey. promised land. Somebody loves you, please don't forget such. Take your time, no need to feel rushed. We So here we are, it's Friday morning, we're heading off to Ninova at lunchtime. We've done a few hundred miles in the van now, done all the snagging, we hope. Uh, jack and breakdown kit are loaded. We're Fantastic. ready to go. Speaking of breakdowns, give me a quick breakdown on what's been done. Everything mechanically. Like, like we said earlier on in the, the previous episode, remove all the weak links. So brakes, suspension, gearbox, brand spanking new engine, all the electrics. It should hopefully hold itself together. Drives really, really nice, really smooth. We've tweaked the suspension around a little bit because with everyone in it, it was scuffing the arches a little bit. Uh, Mandy's done all the sign writing. We've aged it all out. Big thanks to Castrol, Heritage Parts Centre, VW Engine Company. Trim Classics. Trim Classics. Everyone and anyone has had anything to do. The full Type 2 Detectives team, and I mean the full team, everyone's been involved with this. Thank Absolutely. you, James, for holding the videos together. No problem. And uh, holding the fort up in the office while um, I've actually been getting my hands dirty for once. So, James, you go and get changed. We're heading off to Belgium. The rest of the team are going to jump in the van in half an hour's time. We're full of gas. Sit the, the road. <laughs> full of gas. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's go. Bon voyage. So, exciting times, it's 11 o'clock, we're ready to go, but no James. He's 20 minutes late, if he's not here in five minutes, he can make his own way to Belgium, so. <laughs> what the Facebook marketplace have we got here? Morning. Good afternoon, James. You're 20 minutes late. And you pack for three people, we're going to Belgium for one night. What's going on? Belgium? Yes, Belgium. You said Benidorm. <laughs> Benidorm? <laughs> Get in. <laughs> Silly fella. To whoever may need this nugget of encouragement, things will be all right, so quit your worry. I get it, the odds can stack back against the wall, but even consider it such, know you'll stand firm. Yeah. Sat and watch from the sidelines, went too many times, wicked games to play, make me want to lose my mind. Bounce